I am Donenggi, United University Hospital, South Korea. This video is an introduction to the clinical research of endoscopic adhesive powder published in Innovative Brief Communication. The title is Efficacy of Novel Hemostatic Adhesive Powder in Patients with Refractory Opposite Bleeding, and this is a pilot study. Recently, new adhesive powder developed for endoscopic use. In this study, we would like to confirm the efficacy of adhesive powder as a solid therapy for treatment of refractory upper GI bleeding. Total 17 patients who have failed to achieve hemostasis with conventional endoscopic procedures enrolled in this pilot study. And we evaluate the success rate of initial hemostasis and the rate of the rebuilding within 30 days. New hemostasis system used in this clinical trial is composed of the adhesive powder and delivery device. This adhesive powder is developed based on biocompatible polymer and coating technology for endoscopic use. The powder immediately converts gel by moisture, including blood, and becomes a highly adhesive gel to create a mechanical barrier. As you can see in this video, the gel remained firmly attached even when mechanical force was applied to pre -dog. The adhesive gel persists for 24 hours or longer, protecting the breathing site from the gastric acid and may prevent rebreathing. This patient has a forest 1B bleeding from gastric atrium one day after ESD, which could not be controlled with thermal therapy and clipping. And then adhesive powder sprayed at the bleeding site. On the second endoscopy, 24 hours after spraying the powder, adhesive gel was firmly attached at the bleeding site. This video clip shows a case of forest 1A sporting bleeding after ESD. After clipping and injection therapy, bleeding couldn't be controlled. It is very difficult to find bleeding focus. So, adhesive powder was sprayed on the bleeding site. As you can see, powder can be covered bleeding site without scattering. This powder converts the adhesive gel immediately. This adhesive gel tightly covered and bleeding was stopped. After one day, adhesive gel covered on the ulcer base. This slide shows the results. Successful initial hemostasis was achieved about 94% and failed in only one patient who had urinary spurting bleeding. Rebuilding within seven days occurred in three patients, about 19%. Among them, two patients were tumor bleeding and one patient is peptic ulcer bleeding with liver sources. But no other rebuilding was occurred within 30 days. Regarding the safety, there was no any adverse event related to this powder. This study demonstrates this powder has a high success rate for initial hemostasis in refractory opposite bleeding and shows promising results in preventing or rebleeding. However, the current study is limited by a small number of patients and diverse cause of refractory bleeding. So now further prospective multicenter study on the way to confirm effectiveness of the adhesive powder. Thank you for watching this video.